What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day, and don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com, Drill MIDI and Trap Chords Volume 2 out now. Don't forget to stop by Spotify, get yourself a subscription, follow us on Spotify. You've got to hear the Spicy Sundays podcast, the spiciest hot takes in the land. Now today we're going to be talking about NPC. This will not apply to FL Studio. This will not apply to live. We're going to be talking NPC business. Now the topic here is NPC essential plugins. These are for the quality of life. And when I'm talking about your quality of life, I'm talking about the stuff where maybe you're coming over from another DAW and you're used to, you know, being able to like get tempo information easily. You're able to get pitch information easily. You're able to extract MIDI information easily. And we just don't have that in the NPC ecosystem. And you don't want to use it as a VST. You want to be able to use the NPC2 software. And you just, you're just hitting that form feature request and you're in the NPC Facebook groups and you're venting and you're just like we just need good pitch detection and we just need tempo okay cool I got you I got you I'm gonna help you out so first plugin I want to bring to your attention for pitch detection is mixed and key studio this is better this is the best one as far as like being a VST that you could drop on a channel and it telling you the scale um, the the drawback from plugins like this and Hornet mixed and key and 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 all that stuff is that they only work within the major and the minor scale um, and that is going to um, you know when you maybe when you get something that's a little bit more jazzy or that modulates into different modes you may have some problems but mixed and key is a very forward-thinking company and they kind of they they, they kind of threw you an alley-oop in that in this plugin you have the ability to see the notes that are being played um you know predominantly through the piece of music and this is happening in real time right this is happening live so if you if you've got a piece like say this you know say this plugin was telling you that it was a G major but you see how you see how that E has like has the highest um has the highest graph like that it, that implicates amplitude um and you would you, you know say you're playing a G a G sharp bass line and it wasn't sounding good you you could move it over to E and you probably like, wow, this is hitting more harmonic. And it's because there's more there's more of that um, of that note being played in the, in, you know, in the piece of the composition that you're analyzing. And again, it happens in real time. So you can you know, you could sit there and play along with this is like the easiest, the easiest way to um, just be able to play along um, with an 808 bass line or a one shot bass line. Um, it is 50 bucks at mixed and key. And I think that, you know, you guys are, you, you guys are in PC game. You like, everything doesn't need to be free, right? You know, you could throw 50 bucks at, at a problem and solve it and just get it out of here. This serious quality of life improvement. The next one I want to look at is another pitch, de pitch detection. Um, and I want, I want you to think about this one because I show this to people and they're like, yeah, but you know, I don't really need that. What? mixed and key does and um is it allows you to is is it allows you to grab the the pitch and tempo information from any any audio signal right so it's real easy all you got to do is click and drag your files from from wherever you know from whatever folder you have them in and you drag them and you drag them into mixed and key now mixed and key doesn't create duplicates of your files which is awesome right um but what it will do is it will rename whatever file you put into it with the key information and the tempo information which is which is huge right so say you have a pack of 808s that you got off of reddit or some shit and and they're all pitched differently but you don't you don't want to take the time to you know put each one of them you know in, in the DAW and figure out what they are you ju you could just take the whole folder drop it in here and it's going to rename the file like you know doo doo 808 um you know c minor um, you know, you know what I mean? And that's, that's also good for, you know, sample packs that you get off a drum broker where they don't include the pitch information. Um, 
uh and and just uh, you know stuff that you're you know stuff that you're uh, you know downloading from like vinyl obscuria and shit like that stuff that you're digging up at the store um uh, this is this is the easiest way now this one's also fifty dollars you might be like all right fifty dollars fifty dollars this is starting to add up what what i would suggest how you look at this software is you look at it like a virtual assistant right so some of y'all might not be up on this you can go to places like fiverr and other marketplaces and you could pay somebody um, in a country where dollars are more valuable than they are here. Okay. And you could pay somebody 50 bucks to, to do all types of administrative, uh, computer tasks, you know, and it'll be, you know, and it'll be a fair price for them in their country. Right. So <laughs> corporations do this all the time. You're outsourcing, you're outsourcing your admin work. So say you had, you know, say you had a folder of, you know, 10,000 kick drums and you wanted to know the pitch of every one of those kick drums. So you could tune your drums a little, a little easier. You could do that. You could just drop, you could just drop the kick drums and mix the key and it'll tell you, you know, which one's a C, which one's an A. The same thing with your entire sample library. Like you could literally just drag all those files over to mix the key and it's going to do the data entry for you. And when it renames the file, it doesn't, it, you don't lose the, the, uh, the uh, the name and the artist like it just adds the pitch and tempo information at the end now if you're looking at this and you're seeing like well the key result uh is 2a 12a i don't even know what that is the 2a 12a whatever that's that's called the camelot scale and that was invented for djs there's an option in the preferences where you can turn that off and turn it into you know a flat b c <clears throat> the regular system that we're that we're used to and it makes it easy um and this is not a vst this is a standalone app again i i look at this like a virtual assistant that i paid one time for one job but i can i could call him up you know whenever whenever i need it 50 bucks like this is like hands down one of my favorite pieces of software and it's been around forever i mean this used to be how um and kind of still is like when, you know, recording studios that do a lot of hip hop and, you know, the guys that come in and they want to do, you know, they want to do auto tune stuff. And you ask a rapper, like, what's the key of the track? They're like, what? So you would, you know, you just take the, you take their two track instrumental, drop it and mix the key, see that it's a C sharp minor set auto tune up. And then, you know, you know, make them sound like Travis Scott and then boom, you're getting return business um the next the next one for pitch detection um this is this is a free plugin everybody should have this has been out forever it's super accurate and a very helpful utility plugin this is called span um it's a free plugin to spice.com and what it is it's a pitch it's a it's a spectrum analyzer that displays the pitch right so you see where you see where that little crosshair is wherever you drag your mouse and and you have that line going up and down like at the at the bottom where it says c sharp you know minus 26 cents um wherever that vertical line is that tells you and, and it, it's super powerful right not only does it tell you does it tell you what note that is but if you look all the all the way at the bottom at the left hand corner it tells you the frequency of it too right so for example if you were trying to adjust our base and you wanted to you know adjust our base at the fundamental frequency of your 808 you could find the fundamental frequency of the 808 like this and it'll tell you it's 68 hertz you go into your r base you set that slider to 68 boom you you're using our base like a pro right um and then if you want to do like the tricks where they you know where they go up into the second and third octave you can find it with span super easy right um the next thing that it's useful on is like kicks and snares when you want to pitch them you know you can go through examine what the fundamental frequencies are and then retune retune your drums you know really quick either to the root third and the third or fifth um usually usually stick between the 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 uh, the root and the fifth right guys um but it's it, it it makes tuning drums fast if you have not trained your ear yet um so you spend you spend a year tuning your drums with this and then before you know it you don't even need it which is which is a great thing that it's free because uh it's it's just a it's just a great set of training wheels um 
And the last one I want to talk to you guys about is Dakota. Dakota is a mini Melodyne. And what Dakota is, is you can, is you can, it's a standalone app. It's not a plugin, right? But you can, you can, it's like $49 at Plugin Boutique. Um, and it's worth a lot more than that. Like this, this is easily a $300 plugin. Easily. Um, it's created, it's created by Z Plane, the guys who do the best uh, time stretch in the game. And what it is, is you can drag a piece of audio into it, whether it be a full song or a, you know, a stem from a song or whatever. And it'll give you what you're looking at here is the top is what um, what they've analyzed as the chords being played at, in the song. Um, those blue notes at the bottom that's that's where somebody has traced the baseline and it looks like they're getting ready to export that as midi and drag it into their daw and then all the way on the right is a uh, that's a that's a frequency mapper and what you can do is you can is you can kind of highlight areas within you know within the frequency spectrum and you can only you can have Dakota only analyze those parts so if you're just trying to rip a baseline how they have it highlighted at the bottom right there you could tell Dakota like I just want to listen to the baseline or I just want to listen to the mids or I just want to listen to the highs right it's awesome um you can then you can then take it you know um and 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 trace melodies and what's what makes it easier to trace melodies than melodide and this is this is probably the most powerful feature in my opinion in this plugin is that it allows you it, is it plays a sine wave as you click in the notes so you can hear um you can hear the melody kind of take shape and you know that you are like clicking you are clicking in the right notes it's it, it's awesome again helping you train your ear um and then and then something, you know, something that's real cool that, that you might not think about is, you know, you put these chords in, you see them, you get a B minor, you get E7, you got B minor seven and an A6. Right. You might not ever think to draw that 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 chord progression on top of that there. I could tell you right now, Akai doesn't have any chord progression that's like that saved into you know pad perform but you can you could go export the midi drop it into drop it into a, a, a you know a midi track inside of the mpc software and then and then using the new feature where you can export the midi part um as a chord progression just in a, in a couple presses of a button boom you have that chord progression forever so if you had if you had a sample pack right where you just like you know you had like kingsway volume four and that's your favorite sample pack of all time but you flipped all the samples but you still want to be able to produce in that style you could just dog like like get like get their piano stems rip all the chord progressions save those chord progressions in your mpc and now whenever you want to call that up you can call that up fifty dollars right so when you go back through these plugins you got 50 bucks here 50 bucks here and 50 bucks here so for so for 150 dollars you already spent you already spent 1200 bucks on it you at the very least you spent you spent 700 dollars. so i want to hear another from you guys talking about talk about 150 bucks is is a lot of money because with these with these quality of life improvements you have no obstacles in bringing any idea to light using just the mpc software with you know with these add-ons so this is cmp with craftmaster productions studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one fam